Teva Pharmaceuticals has agreed to pay more than a billion dollars to settle antitrust charges. The FTC says one of Teva's subsidiaries blocked the launch of low-cost generic versions of a popular sleeping pill. The deal is considered a victory for the government in its ongoing campaign against a common drug industry practice known as pay for delay. We've estimated that these pay for delay drug deals cost American consumers and taxpayers billions of dollars in inflated prescription drug prices. And this settlement was a record for the agency. Tyler, the year's biggest cancer research conference begins tomorrow in Chicago, where the latest advances in treatment will be discussed. One of the hot topics will be something many consider to be the cancer therapy of the future. Meg Terrell has more from inside a Novartis facility in Morris Plains, New Jersey. It sounds like science fiction, a new way to treat cancer that involves removing a patient's cells, equipping them in a lab with superpowers, and then returning them to hunt and kill tumor cells. Known as CAR-T, it may be close to becoming a reality, showing in early clinical trials to help patients with leukemia that stopped responding to other treatments. There are going to be many other tests in other cancers, uh, immune disorders, and even some genetic diseases may eventually be be treated. So we don't know if it's only going to be thousands of patients if, or one day maybe it's tens of thousands of patients or maybe in a best case scenario many, many years out, it, it's, even, it's even more. So it's, it's a whole new field of medicine. It's very, very exciting. David Epstein is division head of Novartis Pharmaceuticals, one of the leaders in bringing this new technology to market. CAR-T stands for chimeric antigen receptor therapy, and it's a form of immunotherapy, medicines that harness the immune system to fight cancer. Novartis says such a different technology requires a whole different manufacturing process, melding a lab with a manufacturing plant. The Swiss drug maker is ramping up what it says would be the first of its kind in Morris Plains, New Jersey. Patient cells go through a guided journey, tracked from the hospital where they're being treated, all the way to Novartis's facility by a system similar to air traffic control. They arrive on ice, dry ice that is, before being sorted to isolate the right ones for the procedure, manipulated to better detect and fight cancer, then multiplied to pack a more powerful punch when they return to the patient. Sterility is so key here. Technicians who work in these labs must suit up with multiple layers of clothing. Right now, I am wearing three pairs of boots. I've put on two different pairs of gloves. I'm currently wearing one. I'm wearing pants under these pants, this entire suit, and a coat underneath this, as well as a complete head covering, goggles, and a mask. Novartis says its facility can work on 48 different patients' therapies at the same time, each one kept completely separate and monitored 24 hours a day. Novartis researchers say they think of each set of cells as an extension of the patient they're treating. So it's literally tailored to the individual patient, so it's a very unique uh, process. We try and think of it as a patient, not just a bag of cells. Uh, in many cases, these are patients who have no other options. So this is our last hope, so we, we take it very personally and very seriously. Other companies are also working on the technology. Seattle-based Juno Therapeutics, a smaller biotech, said in February it signed a lease for a manufacturing facility in Washington state, expected to be up and running early next year. The therapies must still go through vigorous safety and efficacy testing. Novartis says if all goes well, its first CAR-T product could reach the market in 2017. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell in Morris Plains, New Jersey.